Antonio here, and this is Antonio with Tech. I recently upgraded my setup for working, creating videos, and streaming. And one of the new gadgets that I got was the Elgato Stream Deck. There are multiple options when it comes to the Elgato Stream Deck. There's the Mini, the regular one, and the XL. But there's also a free app with a monthly or yearly membership version that is available as an app for both Android and iOS. I already bought the Elgato Stream Deck, and while I knew about the app, I was a bit apprehensive to use the app, both because of being an app and the membership aspect to it. I thought it would be fun to compare the actual physical Stream Deck to the app version and see whether buying a physical Stream Deck is worth it. So the regular Stream Deck. The Stream Deck goes for $149 and it comes with 15 keys. The product comes with the actual Stream Deck and the base to place it on. You can download the app for PC directly from Mercado, which allows you to add plugins, set your commands, and a lot of other things that they recently added, including sound effects, music, and any of those things that you can customize. All of this is super customizable from the keys to the color scheme and what each key can do performance and ease of use. When it comes to performance and the ease of use, I'm always attracted to having a physical product and actual hardware rather than an app. That's just me, but this video isn't about my preferences, rather what works the best and whether it is worth spending money on any of the Elgato Stream Deck options that you have when you can maybe just pay for the monthly membership. So the full control on one device, the customizations are endless. Plus with the stream PC app, you can do all the things you need. And as I said earlier, it is much easier now to add sound effects, music, and other effects directly from the Elgato app for your PC to control the stream deck. So the Stream Deck mobile app. The mobile app also allows for 15 keys and has the same customizations you have with the regular Stream Deck. The only difference is that it's on your phone. So you don't have any limitation when it comes to that. It works just as the actual physical Stream Deck does. Now connecting the mobile app to the PC app. And yes, you do need to connect it still to the PC app, which is, I guess, maybe a sort of downside, but it's not really. I mean, you still have to use the PC app for the regular Stream Deck. The only difference is that with the regular Stream Deck, you have it plugged in through USB. In this case, Rado just has you open the mobile app and scan a QR code that you can find on the PC app. And it automatically shows with a new device, which you can start adding and customizing from your PC. And it would automatically reflect on your mobile app. So the stability for the app. The app is pretty stable while testing it. I didn't have any issues with the Android app. I don't know if there's issues on the iOS app. I don't know, maybe if Elgato recently updated a lot of the issues on the app. So there might be not as many bugs when it comes down to the mobile app. Of course, with any app, you could run into more issues due to bugs when pushing updates into a mobile app. But then again, you can find bugs on your PC app for the Elgato Stream Deck, which doesn't make much difference. Bugs are everywhere. It's a software. You are still dealing with softwares. Now, some features that are not on the physical Stream Deck. It's a fact that on your phone, if you have an iPhone, of course, it works with Siri. You have the ability to use Siri to control your Stream Deck, which I guess is a huge plus, I guess. I mean, you're gonna, in the middle of a stream, go, hey, Siri, can you change the lights? And there it goes. Nothing, Siri. Might as well just click on it. Easier. The other feature is, I guess, continuous update. Because when you get the Stream Deck, the physical version, there's not much update that goes into the hardware itself. Firmware will be updated, the software will be updated, but the actual physical product won't be. And also, you don't have to worry about the Stream Deck getting damaged. If your phone gets damaged, then you can replace your phone. If your Stream Deck gets damaged, though, the physical one, you have to buy a new one for $149 again. Now, the portability. You're not held down to your desk with the Stream Deck app since it's wireless Stream Deck. With the actual Stream Deck, then you have a lot of issues in terms of you have to carry that with you. I mean, it's not too big if you have the medium size one or the mini, but I would say with the phone, you can move a little bit around and click on the commands without having to be stuck to your desk or wherever your Stream Deck is. Now, some downsides is membership based. You have two options. You either pay $2.99 a month or $24.99 per year if you get the yearly subscription and you pay for the entire year. Now, of course, it is on your phone. Some people do use their phones as their webcam for streaming or maybe even recording or whatever you're doing with it. If you do use your phone for streaming, then that might be a little bit of an issue because while you're streaming with it, you're not going to be able to touch on your phone unless you have a second phone, which a lot of people don't. If you use your phone for something recording or streaming wise while you're using a stream deck, then I would just recommend you get the stream deck mini or just the regular stream deck. Now, of course, some of the downsides, and I don't know if this is a downside, as I mentioned earlier, is that you still have to use the PC app to edit and change icons. I do wish that maybe on the mobile app, you were able to maybe do minor adjustments to it. You can't, but that's okay. I mean, it's just a mobile app. 
it just works the same as the Stream Deck, so I can't complain much about it, honestly. It's not their fault, that's just how it's designed. There's nothing against that. So final thoughts, one of the biggest qualms I have with the app version is that it's membership based. While yes, it's only $2.99 a month or 24 when you pay for the whole year, that is recurring. So either you pay $24 a year, every year, or you get the physical stream deck for $449, which I guess is a flat fee payment, but if the regular stream deck gets damaged after a year, then you pay $149. While if you get the app for $24, you pay for the whole year, that roughly adds for about two or three years. Like you have to basically be using it for three or four, like three years or four years. I can't do math. That's half a business degree, but not very good at like mental math. But now should you buy the stream deck for $149 or just pay for the monthly membership on the app? I would say if you're not sure I'm paying $149 up front, then get the app for one month. You technically could do without the stream deck. You literally don't need the actual physical stream deck. That huge mistake that I did. I mean, I'm not sad about it. I do like having the actual physical product. But if you're looking for just having the ability of changing scenes when you're streaming or any of those things or having commands for your computers, just use your mobile app on your phone. Honestly, it's a lot easier. It's cheaper upfront. You don't have to pay $149. So you have the ability to download the app and use the app. Then just I would recommend you do that, honestly. You don't lose any functionalities. The mobile app is a great alternative to the physical stream decks. And I would say it's even more worth it than the physical stream deck. There's no reason to actually pay the $149 when you can just get it for $2 a month or $24 a year. If you're willing to pay for the membership and you don't hate memberships that much, then definitely the membership for the Elgato stream deck app, totally worth it. All right, that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell to get notified every single time I post. I'm going to be actually trying to post every week, so I'm not going to make any promises, but I will make my best to post every week. So I'll catch you all either next week or in two weeks. Bye-bye.